Hello everybody and welcome to the Shadow Legion. I'm your host, The Shadow, of course. Now, if any of you have ever had the misfortune of being arrested for being a naughty boy or girl, then you'll know that there are certain things that you should never say to a police officer because it's likely going to do you more harm than good. And if you've ever been pulled over or stopped by the police, you know exactly what a nerve-wracking, tense and stressful experience that could possibly be. And the only thing that could possibly make that situation any worse is when you start saying stupid stuff to the police officer who's just pulled you over. So here are top 10 things you should never say to a police officer. And we start this list at number 10. Now, at number 10, if you ever get pulled over by a police officer, don't turn to them and say, I thought you had to be in relatively good physical condition to be a police officer. <laughs> well, that might very well earn you a taser in the face. Sure, make fat jokes about police officers. That's only ever going to help you for whatever crime you've been pulled over for. Also, I wouldn't necessarily suggest that you should insult people who have the legal right to use a taser because they can always claim when you're, say, reaching for your phone that you're reaching for what looked like a gun. And if you're stupid enough to say this to a police officer, may I suggest that you get court-mandated compulsory electroshock therapy. And at number nine, is it true that people become cops because they're too dumb to work at McDonald's? Sure, insult a cop's intelligence. That's a brilliant idea. Actually, with a comment like that, they're more than likely to help out a local McDonald's store with something minor like trespassing or the theft of a cheeseburger, as opposed to come and help you when your home is being invaded. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. The cops will always respond and they'll always help you out if your home is being burgled, but don't be surprised if they turn up with a couple of cheeseburgers. And at number eight, if you get pulled over for speeding, for the love of God, don't make up some dumbass story like, well, when I reached down to pick up my bag of crack, my gun fell off my lap and got lodged in between the brake pedal and the gas pedal, forcing me to speed out of control. Because making a joke like that is probably equivalent to walking through airport security with a shirt that says, I'm the bomb. And you shouldn't make jokes with those people either because they have the legal right to put on the long rubber glove, walk you into a separate dark room and say, drop your pants. At number seven, how dare you pull me over? I pay your salary. Yes, congratulations. The cops pulled you over for doing something wrong and you're telling them that you're doing your taxes. You do realize that if you say, I don't pay your salary, it means that you haven't been paying your taxes and that's against the law as well. Mm, I pay your salary. I hope people like this get an accidental taser to the nuts. At number six, when getting pulled over, please don't turn to them and go, hang on, I can't reach my license. Here, here, hold my beer. If you've ever said this to a police officer, there's probably a reason why they pulled you over in the first place. Now, if I was a police officer and I pulled over someone who was drunk who made that joke, my sick mind would probably go to, let's throw him in a jail cell for 24 hours, let him sober up, but let's cover him in some blood when he passes out or some red paint, and then he'll wake up and he'll wonder what the hell he was doing in prison in the first place. Are you out of your mind? What's gotten into you? Okay, it's a little sadistic, but don't tell me that you don't want to see that happen. It's almost worth taking the police officer exam. And number five, when being pulled over, please don't say, so did the donut shop close early today? Now this is an insult and a stereotype that you probably want to steer clear of. Remember, police officers don't just sit around eating donuts all day. They eat Twinkies as well. Oh, why do I feel like I'm going to be arrested for that joke? And number four, if you're unlucky enough to have them pull the handcuffs on you, the last thing you want to turn to them and say, oh, handcuffs, bring it on, let's go for it, big boy. Yes, because taunting the police while they're arresting you is always going to work in your favour. And for those of you who are confused about when the police officer pulls his handcuffs out, he's doing his job, he does not want to be kinky with you. At least, I don't think he does. I don't know every police officer in the world. If the police officer handcuffs you, puts you into the back of his car and takes you home, then he wants to be kinky with you. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you actually visualised that, didn't you? And number three... Hello, officer. When do the rest of the village people get here?
Now, if you're stupid enough to say this to a police officer, for the love of God, whatever you do, do not break into your rendition of YMCA, no matter how tempting it is. Because they are not in fancy dress. That is their actual uniform, and that is a real gun and a real taser. Need I say more? When being pulled over by a police officer, you should never turn to them and say, I wanted to join the police force too when I was growing up, but then I did really well in college. Again, the last thing you want to do is insult them by insinuating that they're essentially a stupid person. Because let's be honest, they've worked really hard to pass all their exams, to learn all the laws that they are now responsible for upholding, and it takes a lot of practice and memory control to remember where all the donut shops are. And at number one, the worst thing you could possibly say to a police officer when they turn to you after they've pulled you over and say, do you know what you did wrong? You don't turn to them and say, yeah, I'll speed, how about you? Yeah, so basically, you were speeding, they caught you, that's the end of the story. By trying to get out of a ticket, by telling the police officer that he has to write himself one because he was speeding as well, that's never going to work for one simple reason. They're allowed to speed when chasing people breaking the law. Now, if any of you out there have ever actually used this line on a police officer, let me know in the comments section down below what their reaction was, because I'm almost certain that it's not going to be one filled with joy and laughter. And that's it for me today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this look at some of the silly things that you should never say to a police officer when being pulled over, because 99 times out of 100, you're actually in the wrong. So just take your medicine, take the ticket, say thank you, Mr. Policeman or Policewoman, for protecting me, and be on your way. Don't make your life harder by insulting them. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button down below. If you want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, those links can be found in the description. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. The big red button down there, click that subscribe button and you won't miss a single notification when I upload. I upload a new video every Sunday, and that's when I hope to see you next week with a brand new video. See you next time.